Hey everybody, David Shapiro here with a quick video. Well, I think it's going to be quick. Um, I've had a few requests for something that's pretty similar. Um, also, let me make sure the sound is good. Okay, cool. You can hear me. Um, something that's pretty similar. So one person asked for something to uh, like summarize um, documentation. Another person asked for like summarizing notes of um, some type, you know, basically creating executive summaries. Um, this is already a solved problem, but there's enough people asking for how to do this. I figured why not make a video on it? Um, so we're going to do recursive summary summarizer, um, public add a readme and license MIT. Um, so basically all we're going to do is create a loop. So there'll be an input document, um, and then, a. uh, We'll break that down into chunks using using the module text wrap, and from there we will um, we'll just summarize each chunk and put it together. And what you can do is you can recurse like you assemble all those chunks and you can recursively summarize it um, again and again until you end up with you know something that's unrecognizable basically. Um, okay, so git clone summarizer. Okay, so. Let's open up my C drive, recursive summarizer. There we go. Let's open another one, add my git ignore and my OpenAI API key. Let's just start with some boilerplate stuff. Um, and then in AutoMuse, I did use a, a recursive summaries. Hey, look at that. Um, I did not use text wrap in this one. I think it was in um, book to chunks. Yeah, okay, so import text wrap. So basically, import text wrap. So what this does is um, you give it just a block of a, a string and it'll break it into um, chunks of strings that are more or less the same size. Um, so let's go to recursive summarizer and let's just, this will probably be like one thing. So we'll just do, um, recursively summarize.py. Um, and so then what we'll do is I'll have a, um, let's start with a book. Let's see, what's the shortest one we have here? Alice in Wonderland, cool, we'll start with that. Um, Alice in Wonderland, we'll go back to here. So we'll copy that. We'll just call this input so that whatever you do, you'll have input.txt and then output.txt. So this is a technique that I've used. Um, I, I had a contract, a, um, an operating agreement for a company that I had to read and it was an 80 page document. I was like, I don't want to read 80 pages. It was like 60,000 words, 80 pages. So I used this technique and I summarized it down to like 15,000 words. So I, I, I made it a quarter as long. Um, Obviously, I'm not going to show you people on the public, you know, this private, you know, legal contract, um, but I can show you the same principle um, and we'll go from there. Okay, so we've got input, recursively summarize, text, uh, so on and so forth. I'll copy my open file um, function just because it's super useful. And then also save file because also useful. Okay, so, whoops. If name equals main. So this just says this is our main function. Um, we want to, what do we want to do? Who's bugging me? Okay. Sorry, I muted my phone. Um, lost my train of thought. Right, we're going to open a file. Um, let me make sure that I do it right. Book to chunks. So chunks equals yes. All right, so here's here's basically what you do. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, all text equals open file. And we'll just do input.txt. So whatever you want, it'll be this name. Um, you could make this into a command line argument thing. Um, I personally don't like doing that kind of thing, um, but you're welcome to make this a, a command line based tool if you want. Um, oh yeah, we're gonna need to do this as well. 
our open AI key. Okay, so all text equals that, and then chunks equals, uh, let me make sure I do this right, um, text wrap, there we go. Okay, so we could just call text wrap and then dot wrap, and then we put this here. So we're gonna do a little bit longer of chunks. We're gonna do 4,000 um, chunks because we're just doing one summary each. Um, and then another thing that we're gonna need to do is, let's see, uh, result equals list. So we're gonna have a list of strings as the final result. Um, and then let's see, for chunk in chunks, we will then summarize that. So I need to grab my, um, my GPT-3 completion function and put that up here. And again, I just, I recycle code all the time. You get a function that works, you just copy paste it, add infinitum. Um, so then we'll do import OS, import, um, no, from time, import time, sleep, because those are two things that I need for that to work. Um, oh, and then we need a prompt. So we go over here, let's just go to um, here, selection. All right, that's about 4,000 characters. So how, how do we wanna, how do we wanna summarize this? So we'll say, we'll start with write a concise summary of the following. And then we do concise summary. And we'll leave this on point seven so that it can be creative. Mm, okay, so it says, in this passage, Roger Chillingworth and Reverend Dimsdale discuss the secrecy of some sinners. Dimsdale argues that some men keep their secrets because they hope to redeem themselves, while, uh, while Chillingworth suggests that they are simply afraid of being found out. The conversation is interrupted by the sound of Pearl's laughter and they watch as she plays in the cemetery. Okay, that seems good to me. Um, let's see, before Roger Chillingworth could answer, they heard a clear wild laughter of a young child's voice. Yeah, um, taking a handful of these. Um, let's, so I had this idea because, okay, this is a good concise summary, but um, uh, let's see, write a, write a concise summary of the following. Be sure to preserve preserve um, important details. So then we'll add concise summary with details. So let's see how much how different this is. So let's copy this so that we can save it. So this it goes from it went from 4,000 characters to 376. So that's a, a factor of more than 10 um, uh, in terms of reduction. But if we say let's keep some details, Let's see how that is. Hester Prynne and her daughter Pearl are walking through the burial ground. Um, when Pearl starts skipping and dancing around irreverently, Hester doesn't stop her, but merely tells her to behave more decorously. Pearl then starts arranging burrs along the lines of the scarlet letter on Hester's bosom. Uh-huh. Is that really what happened? That seems like it's an entirely different... I don't know that any of that actually happened. Where did it get this? A burr. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. So it kind of, it, it, it got it summarized like the details in the final bit. Hmm, okay. Um, I don't necessarily like that summary because the first one, like you look how different these are. So the first one was in this passage, Roger Chillingworth, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but we miss out on the details of the burrs, right? So it's like, okay. Um, so the wording that I used in another time was using a moderate summary of the following. So moderate summary means like, okay, compress it, but not too much. So we'll just say um, moderate summary. Interesting. So it's kind of ignoring the beginning in both of these. Hmm. 
Because even this one, this moderate summary is more like the second one. So like Hester Prynne and her daughter Pearl are walking through a graveyard. But then you see this one, like it's almost like we need to have both of these. So we, we want it, what I'm trying to do here is get something that, that feels like a good summary. Um, so let's say, let's write a detailed summary. Um, detailed summary. That looks a little bit better. Okay, so this, this captures both. Okay, so if we say detailed summary, it's about twice as long, but it looks like it got all of the details that we want. Um, so let's say uh, it, the, le the selection that we did is 838 characters. So that's still more than a factor of four because we went from 4,000 characters to less than 1,000. So, okay, so it's a quarter as long. Um, I like that. I think we're gonna stick with this as, as, our, as our prompt. Um, okay, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna, all right, here, I'll just copy all this in. Okay. Write a detailed summary of the following. Summary. And then we kill all that. And we say this is our new prompt. Prompt. Prompt.txt. Okay, so then what we do is for each chunk, here, let me close some of this excessive stuff. Okay, um, so for each for chunk in chunk, we're going to say prompt equals open file um, prompt dot text dot replace um, summary summary sorry with chunk. So basically, what that'll do is each of these four thousand character chunks will get put in here, and then we'll send it up to GPT three to summarize. And I hope I don't run out of tokens. Um, we'll see. All right, pardon me. I went for a really long bike ride earlier, so I'm still rehydrating. Um, okay, GPT-3 completion. Um, token limit 1,000. Yeah, because uh, we'll probably... That's fine. All right, so then summary equals... GPT-3 completion prompt. Okay, so that'll give us our summary. We'll print out the summary just so that we can watch it going. And then we'll do result.append summary. Um, that should be good. And then once it's all done, we'll do, um, let's see, how is it that you join a list Let's see if I can remember. Python um, uh, L equals one, one, two, three. And then you do was, I think, join L. Uh, what I'm trying to do is like join, um, join it all into a string. Um, let's see, Python join list of strings into single string. join list of strings. That's what I did. Expected string instance int found. Oh, that's what I did wrong. Okay. So we do, I did do it right. I just wrong data type. Okay, so then we just add a space dot join L. Okay, now it'll add a space. Cool, all right, that's what I wanted. Um, all right, so then we do uh, save file, save file, and then the content will be, uh, let's see, um, space dot join result, and then it'll be output dot text. And so that'll just, um, actually here, let's do, let's do double new line. I think that'll be better because then it'll, there'll be a vertical space between each, um, each section so we can see where the summary, 
um, boundaries of the summarization happened, um, that'll make it a little bit easier to see, I think. Um, yeah, okay, so that's good. And yeah, okay. Then let's do another thing. So I, I sometimes do this import re, and so then text will equal text equals re sub, and I'll do um, white space plus. So this is like if it adds in too much um, too much white space. So like uh, oh I already closed it. Um, if there's too much too many too much a uh, vertical white space or too many new lines, um, this will this will compress the output into a single single line. Um, so resub, this is regex, um, sub, which is substitute. So we'll substitute anything that is more than one white space with just a single normal space. And so white space is vertical new lines, tabs, anything like that. And then this is what we're acting on. Um, so that'll make it nice and compressed and pretty. Um, I think that's it. I think so. Uh, let's see. How long is this going to be? Because the input is 171 kilobytes, and it's about four kilobytes each. So how many chunks? Um, so 171 kilobytes divided by four kilobytes. So that'll be about 42 sections. That shouldn't be too bad. 42 instances. Um, and really, what I should do is save it as we go, just so I can show you. Um, and then I need to add GPT-3 logs folder, because that's where I have this function save it out to. You see right here, GPT-3 logs. Um, let's go ahead and run it. Heck with it. Let's see how it does. Um, CD recursive summarizer, Python recursive, recursively summarize. OpenAI is not defined. What do you mean I got to import OpenAI? Always forget something. Import OpenAI. And away it goes. So I can probably make these chunks a little bit longer, like 5,000. Um, there we go. She escapes by climbing a tree. Excellent. Alice falls down a rabbit hole and finds herself in a long, dark tunnel. Yeah, OK, this is great. Um, all right, so this is running. It looks like it's doing just fine. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video so you don't have to watch this run through you know, 40, 40 iterations or whatever. But it looks like it's doing pretty well. So let's, let's pause it, and then uh, we'll be back in just a second. OK, and we're back. It didn't take too terribly long, but uh, we're done. It was 42, um, 42 chunks total, and I predicted 42.75, so spot on. Um, when it's encoded as UTF-8, it's about one to one in terms of characters, and um, and uh, or, or a thousand characters is roughly one kilobyte. Uh, put it that way. Um, okay, so all that being said, um, here's the output. So you see where we've got the double new line. So you can kind of see each each section, um, and all told, the length is 45,000 characters. Um, this is Alice in Wonderland, and the input was 174,000 characters. So we go from, um, let's see, 174 down to 45. Uh, so let's see, 45 divided by, what did I just say? 174. Okay, so that's right, that's almost exactly a quarter. Um, so it's a quarter of the length. Um, you could do this with anything. So, like I said, I've gotten questions about like, can you do this with um, with uh, uh, like text, uh, like um, academic texts? Yes, you can do this with uh, academic texts, legal contracts, um, works of fiction, whatever you want, and it will summarize it uh, pretty pretty concisely. Um, once you get to the end, you see like you know it's basically just summarizing you know Gutenberg, um, so on and so forth. Uh, but yeah, up until that point, it's nice and nice and concise. Um, Alice falls asleep by a river and has a curious dream in which she is put on trial for stealing the queen's tarts. The evidence against her is entirely circumstantial, but the jury finds her guilty and she is sentenced to, to death. However, before the sentence can be carried out, Alice wakes up and realizes it was all just a dream. Alice is sitting on the riverbank with her sister and she notices a white rabbit running by. She follows the rabbit down a hole, finds herself in Wonderland. She has a series of adventures. Looks like it's repeating the end. Um, interesting. Uh, yeah. 
so there you have it though. That's, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, I, I guess we'll just do a get status, get add, get commit am, um, done and done, and get push. Uh, so yeah, feel free to use this. Um, what you can do, because um, I, I already hear people like asking um, about Word documents or PDFs, and all that I've done is um, Python or PowerShell or whatever, you just um, save those as, as .text files and that works just fine. Um, so like, basically it'll, it'll just remove all the formatting um, because GPT-3 doesn't understand the XML background of, of, a, of a Word document, Microsoft Word, or um, how to read a PDF file. It only reads plain text. Um, but even then you'll still see that like, it'll do a pretty good job. Um, you could change the prompt to like change this to de um, change it back to like concise um, and it'll get even shorter. You'll get a factor of like 10 to one. Um, but what I, what, you know, at the beginning of this video, I showed you you're at risk of losing important details if you say concise summary. Um, and then what you could do, so say for instance, um, you wanted to run this again, I could, you could modify the script to like run it again so that you just treat the output as the next input, um, and then you could you could uh, you could make it even shorter. Um, I'm not going to worry about that right now because um, literally all you would do if you want to try this, you just copy the output to the input, whoops, and then just run it again, um, or you add another loop. Again, I'm not going to worry about that. You can play with that if you want to. Um, but yeah, there you have it. Um, I think uh, I think I'll call it a day. Thanks for watching.